what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming Mondo Spider-Man the animated series six scale Spider-Man figure now this is of course is a Spider-Man figure based on the Spider-Man like animated series from the 90s which I used to be like a huge fan of I used to love watching that show <laughs> so now they are making figures what well, Mondo is making figures based on that particular show. Now I already knew like when it first like was teasing these, I already knew that I probably wouldn't be too thrilled about these. Cause the way like Spider-Man is, the kind of like character that Spider-Man is, he would have to have like a lot of articulation. He should be able to swing, you know, have like swinging poses and all that kind of stuff. And I don't think Mondo would provide all those kind of uh necessities though and I'm a big fan of Mondo I love like their Batman the animated series six scale figures I think those are, those are amazing but anyway uh, I'm going to get into this right now okay here's the Mondo Spider-Man the animated series six scale Spider-Man figure now we already knew that this was coming and I, I was kind of like worried about this one too I, I, I must admit I have some rants with this particular figure now I'm a big fan of Mondo's like Batman the animated series six scale figures oh I'm, I'm really a big fan of those but when it comes to like the Spider-Man because of, of, of the kind of uh, character that he is like he's like real agile and so on so you know this type of figure but I can kind of see it but for my opinion with Steph definitely still need like a lot of like articulation you know and plus like Spider-Man he should be able to swing and stuff like that and I don't think Mondo has anything like that like the kind of stands that he has I don't think they have anything where you can have them swing, even though you can get your own like self like a custom stand to do that if you wanted to. But like I said, I'm not really too like thrilled about this. It still looks like pretty good to me, but I don't know. <laughs> and a six scale Spider-Man figure from Mondo, based on the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s, which I was a huge fan of, would come with like a classic portrait of Peter Parker head sculpt, the hand holding the Green Goblin mask, a Spider-Man mask. A camera, a web shooter hand with a bendable web, web shooter hand with short webs, long web attachments, a symbiote chest attachment, six pairs of hands, and a figure stand too as well. But there's also like a limited edition exclusive, which does include those which has like the uh, goblin luck mask that he's holding, plus like the symbiote, and like the uh, Spider-Man like a uh, mask that he has. That's only exclusive to like the limited edition version and of course that has like a limited time on it well it's like a limited set I don't think it really has like a time on it but yeah that's what comes with those this particular figure and yeah I must admit I'm not too sure if like even the likeness is on point with this particular figure I believe it is but uh cause I was a big fan of like the uh, Spider-Man series in the 90s oh, I always love watching that but I do think the uh, Peter Parker head sculpt is just like awesome that really does look like how Peter Parker looked it on the uh, the animated series so I think they did that pretty good but yeah like I said for the kind of character that uh, Spider-Man is you know you have to be all bend up and so on like you would have to be really articulated so it does seem like I shouldn't really bother with like a particular figure like this but I still probably be up for it though like I said I'm still like a big fan of it and it might be better in the end than it turns out from what I'm seeing you know <laughs> but like I mentioned well I must admit I be like some of the other upcoming figures would definitely stand out so like Venom and so on like the type of figure like that I believe would be okay but like the Spider-Man himself I, I'm not too sure about it but we'll, we'll see though <laughs> now Mondo has the Spider-Man the animated series six scale Spider-Man figure scheduled to ship out in December of this year and again there are like two different versions you can get one that's like standard and then you can get like the limited edition one which include like his hand holding the green goblin's mask and the symbiote attachment plus the Spider-Man mask too as well so yeah uh, I, I must admit and I the uh, the exclusive one is limited to like 1500 units so I don't know how long it's going to be up on Mondo I think it's, they just got it until it sells out they don't really have like a timed edition thing on it so I think they just have it there until like it sells out I'm not really too sure but I must admit like I can just imagine some of the figures we can get based on this series like can you imagine we might even could possibly get like a Blade figure remember Blade was like on the Spider-Man series like in the 90's even like the Dr. Octopus you know like Venom and all them I could just imagine how, how cool they would be you know like to have <laughs> so yeah Mondo has the Spider-Man the animated series six scale Spider-Man figure 
scheduled to be released in December of this particular year. And of course, you know, you get two different versions. But this time, they're not doing like a timed exclusive thing, like a timed edition. This one is just limited. So I think it would just depend on how long it lasts. Because it has like 1,500 uh, units, like 1,500 units. That's how many units are available for the uh, limited edition exclusive, which has like the Green Goblin mask with Spider-Man's hand holding like the uh, Goblin's mask and the symbiote attachment and like a Spider-Man mask. So yeah, I don't, I'm not really too sure, you know, because I think, I do believe that other upcoming figures based on uh, the animated Spider-Man series from the 90s, like I know they have Venom on the way, now something like that I think would be kind of like a decent figure to have. And if, say, they did like a Dr. Octopus or like Green Gob, you know, figures like that based on them, I'd be probably be okay in the end. And can you be, it might be possible now, we might get like a Blade figure from the, based on Spider-Man animated series. Remember, Blade was on the uh, 90s Spider-Man animated series. So it could be possible that we can get like a Blade figure from Mondo <laughs> based on how he looked in Spider-Man, like the animated series. So that I must admit, I must admit, that would be like very awesome. But yeah, I'm still not too sure, you know, cause like I say, he should have like lots of articulation. You should be able to put him in swinging poses and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really too sure how it's gonna be, you know. But I might pick it up, but I'm not really too sure. But anyway, uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.